Hello, my name is Lisa Schwartz. I'm the Arnold L. Johnson Chair of Healthcare Ethics at McMaster University in Canada. Um, our research area focuses primarily on humanitarian action and the ethical challenges that humanitarian um, health workers encounter when they're in the field. Um, and at the moment, we're focusing on a study on the integration of palliative care in complex humanitarian response. Um, the work that we've done to date is a collection of interviews and we've begun to see that the obstacles that uh, humanitarian actors face when they're in the field um, are predominantly around, you know, in part, um, an understanding that there is uh, a need, yes, there's still a need to, do, to rescue, um, but in the end, inevitably, some people will die in the context of a humanitarian crisis, either because of the crisis itself um, or because they were dying before the crisis emerged. And as a result, end-of-life care and care management, as well as um, supportive care for those people who are suffering but whose lives may not be close to the end, um, this is often s set aside um, in favor of life-saving interventions. Um, the aid workers that we've spoken with are telling us that they recognize that there needs to be a mix um, and that it's time to integrate palliative care responses in all the, the work that they do in order to bring health care that is uh, sensitive to the, uh, the not just the pain management but also the psychosocial needs of the patients that they're working with um, and with the families involved as well. So we're in the middle of, uh, of running two, two parts of a study, a qualitative interview study where the interviews are to giving us some interesting details about these challenges, as well as a survey study. And the survey, which is being um, run across the world, um, incorporating uh, responders who come from English-speaking uh, countries, but it's also available in French and in Arabic. Um, and our intention is to try to figure out a baseline of what kind of palliative care is currently being administered in um, emergency healthcare settings. The obstacles, as I said, that we've seen are, are predominantly this ethos of rescue and how to overcome the ethos of rescue and life saving when we know that not everybody's lives can be saved, but those people still need care. Um, and also the directives, the guidelines, um, the uh, support that uh, healthcare providers need in order to not just give them advice and direction on how to provide care, but also to give them permission to provide palliative care in emergency contexts so that while they're rushing to do the work that they do, um, that they know that they can also bring um, a palliative intention to it.